Cold-heartedness whispers a seductive promise. Feel nothing and never suffer. But brother, it's a treacherous path, masking pain with indifference. True strength isn't about numbing the heart, but embracing every beat, every scar. Let's shatter the illusion and find the real power within vulnerability and genuine emotion. Firstly, there's a twisted lie being portrayed to you. Brother, have you ever noticed how the world often paints cold-hearted men as the epitome of strength? Hollywood's silver screens are awash with stoic protagonists, from James Bond's icy demeanor to the unyielding resolve of characters like the Punisher. These figures, with their steely gazes and walls around their hearts, are celebrated, even revered. But here's the raw truth. Society's got it twisted. There's a dangerous misconception floating around that equates emotional detachment with power. Sure, there might be short-term gains. You shield yourself from immediate pain, project an image of invulnerability, and the world might even applaud you for it. Influencers with their curated lives on social media often champion this detachment, further fueling the myth. And let's not forget the age-old adage that men should be pillars of stoicism, never shedding a tear, never letting emotions betray them. But my friend, where there's merit in mastering one's emotions, there's a vast chasm between being emotionally intelligent and being cold-hearted. Emotional intelligence is about understanding and managing feelings, not suppressing them. On the other hand, cold-heartedness, it's a lonely road, often leading to isolation and a life devoid of genuine connections. So, while the world might sing praises of the emotionlessness, remember this, True strength lies in understanding your emotions, not burying them. Don't let the world's skewed perceptions rob you of the rich tapestry of human experience. Embrace your emotions, brother, but master them. Don't let them master you. Secondly, there is a journey that too many men find themselves in which traps them into the emotionally dull mindset brother. It's a harsh truth, but people don't just wake up one day and decide to be cold-hearted. It's a journey, often paved with pain, betrayal, and the weight of expectations. Imagine a man, much like you or me, facing traumatic events that shake his very core. Or perhaps it's the sting of repeated disappointments, the kind that chips away at trust bit by bit. And let's not forget the societal pressures, the unspoken demand for men to be unyielding fortresses, never showing a hint of vulnerability. Dive deeper and you'll see the mind's intricate dance, defense mechanisms spring into action, erecting emotional walls thicker than fortress battlements. It's a survival tactic, a way to shield the heart from further pain. I've heard tales of men who've walked this path. One brother shared how a series of betrayals in his youth led him to shut out even those who genuinely cared. Another spoke of the immense pressure to be the rock in his family, leading him to suppress every tear, every ounce of pain. Recent studies have shed light on this phenomenon. A research article from the Journal of Psychological Trauma highlighted that men who experience repeated emotional traumas are more likely to develop avoidant attachment styles, pushing away emotional intimacy. Another study from Harvard University emphasized the societal expectations placed on men, suggesting that these pressures can lead to emotional detachment as a coping mechanism. This transformation doesn't happen overnight. It's a slow burn a gradual hardening, and the internal conflict? It's real and agonizing. Picture a tug of war, with one side yearning for connection and the other pushing everyone away, fearing another heartbreak. But here's the silver lining. 
Recognizing this journey, understanding its twists and turns, is the first step to prevention. It's the beacon that can guide men back from the brink, back to a place of balance and genuine connection. So brother, as you tread this path of self-awareness, remember that true strength isn't about suffering the world out. It's about knowing when to let the right ones in. Thirdly, there are negatives beneath the surface of not caring. As we journey deeper into the psyche of a man's transformation, it's essential to remember our core exploration. The balance between becoming emotionally distant and maintaining a healthy emotional state. Now, having grasped the allure and the transformation journey, let's delve into the consequences that follow. At first, it feels like a shield. You're safeguarded from emotional turmoil, the pain of betrayal, and the sting of disappointment. There's a sense of control, like you're the master of your own universe, impervious to the emotional arrows life throws at you. It's a seductive feeling, that emotional safety, and many men chase it, thinking it's the pinnacle of strength. But here's the harsh truth. Over time, that shield becomes a prison. Studies from the Journal of Clinical Psychology have shown a direct correlation between emotional detachment and mental health disorders like depression and anxiety. The immediate benefits? They come at a steep price. Loneliness creeps in, relationships with loved ones strain, and the very fabric of your mental well-being starts to fray. Let me share a story of a man named Alex. Alex was once a man full of zest and trust. He grew up in a tight-knit community, always surrounded by friends and family. His first betrayal came from his childhood friend, Mike. They started a business together, pooled their savings. But Mike, blinded by greed, swindled Alex out of their profits and disappeared. Heartbroken but resilient, Alex tried to move on, only to face betrayal again, this time in love. The woman he planned to marry left him for another, taking with her a chunk of his savings and leaving behind a trail of lies. These back-to-back -back betrayals were the catalysts. Alex decided emotions were a liability. He thought, if I feel nothing, I lose nothing. He built walls so high and so thick that no one could penetrate them. To the world, he seemed invincible, like a superhero impervious to pain. But every superhero has an Achilles heel. For Alex, it was his emotional void. Over time, the very walls that protected him became his cage. He missed out on genuine connections, on laughter, on love. He became a spectator in his own life, watching from the sidelines but never truly participating. The world saw a superhero, but inside, Alex was crumbling. He battled loneliness, depression, and a constant feeling of emptiness. And the societal implications? They're vast. By promoting this emotional detachment, we're perpetuating toxic masculinity. We're setting unhealthy emotional standards for our brothers, our sons, our friends. We're teaching them that to be a man is to be devoid of emotion, which couldn't be further from the truth. Emotional connections, brother, they're vital for our overall well-being. They're what makes us human, what gives our lives depth and meaning. So. I leave you with this thought. Is the temporary emotional safety really worth the long-term isolation and emptiness? Think about it. And finally, brother, let me teach you how to use cold-heartedness to your advantage, but remain the masculine figure you have the right to be. Navigating the treacherous waters of emotional balance is no small feat especially when the world often demands that men be pillars of strength. But 
Here's the truth. It's possible to be strong without being cold. Strength isn't about shutting out emotions. It's about understanding and channeling them. Emotional intelligence and self-awareness are the cornerstones of true masculinity. They allow a man to recognize his feelings, understand others, and respond in a way that's both assertive and compassionate. Remember, being a people pleaser might seem like an easy route, but it's a slippery slope that can lead to emotional detachment. A certain level of cold-heartedness might be necessary to stand your ground, but it's a delicate balance. So, how can you tread this path without losing yourself? First, consider therapy. Contrary to some misconceptions, therapy isn't just a place to vent. It offers a structured environment where you can dissect and understand your emotions. A therapist can provide tools and strategies to help you navigate complex feelings, ensuring you maintain that crucial balance between strength and sensitivity. Journaling, as well, is more than just writing down your day. It's a powerful introspective tool. By putting pen to paper, you're forced to confront and articulate your emotions, giving you clarity and perspective. Over time, this practice can lead to deeper self-awareness, helping you to recognize when you're veering too far into cold-hearted territory. Healthy relationships play a pivotal role in maintaining emotional balance. Surround yourself with people who uplift you, challenge you, and understand you. And remember, vulnerability isn't a flaw, it is a strength. It takes courage to open up, to admit fears, to seek help. Balancing cold-heartedness requires a conscious effort. It's about setting boundaries without building walls. It means standing firm in your decisions without being dismissive of others. Engage in activities that foster empathy, like volunteering or mentoring. These experiences can remind you of the value of connection and the importance of understanding. Regular self-reflection, perhaps through meditation or mindful practices, can also help you check in with yourself, ensuring that you're striking the right balance between strength and sensitivity. Brother, true masculinity isn't about shutting out emotion. It's about understanding, embracing, and channeling those feelings. Be the rock, not by being cold, but by caring deeply and standing firm in the storm. Remember, a man's strength shines brightest when he's the anchor amidst the chaos. To see the next best way to level up as a man, check this video here.